Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listen to the sound of bees. Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Best oh. show ever! Oh, hold on, let me walk off the screen. Get... <laughs> Leave it! Get off it! Wait, why, why can't he get off it? Leave! Get out! Oh, thank God. Okay, we're back for mostly walking. Oh. Oh. God, what a relief. Okay. So we have found Those bees, man. All right. Man, we found uh we found some boiling water with an old lamp on it, which we obviously need. We have yeah. a mountain with a catchphrase probably said by Taylor Swift. Um we have an island that has a bookworm and a black widow that will kill us if we take her piece of paper. Yeah, Bill, what's 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 your read on this? Paper. Can we go? Can we go up further into the forest there? Yeah, you know, let's 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 come back in in here in the game, and I'm gonna walk back here with. Oh, the... you're flying, bro! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sounds oh. like a broken cassette. Oh my god! Oh, okay, let's. Let's do this quickly. Let's look through things. The fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. Or bump. It looks like a face, actually. It looks like a look cat face. Interesting to Alexander. Let's talk to it. It looks like a face. No, though, though actually the that one above it, the knot the in the tree, looks, looks like look a particularly cat face. Conversational to about that. It's, it's north of it on the screen. See that cat face? Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the, the tree. cat face. In the tree? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk to it in a sec. sec oh, it's but. probably a pussy willow, right? It's a pussy willow. It's gonna be a cat. <laughs> oh, I'm not right. kidding. I'm serious. No, I think you're right. All I right. So. Let's let's see if it's a pussy willow. Uh, Ew. My dear tree, is it true that your bark is worse than your bite? Oh, it's a dog tree. That's creepy, actually. I don't know about that. Let me touch the thistles. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Ah, the milkweed bush. Got it. Apparent. Apparently something. Run! Get out! <laughs> get, get. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Look at those surprised, horrified cabbage patch heads. <laughs> let's let's look oh at them. Oh my God! Oh Unless my Alexander God! Is mistaken. Those plants must be baby's tears. Is, can we just know that? Sean, do you, do you think we should take their tears? I think I think we should just take all their tears. Uh, well, let me let me use the finger of Alexander to investigate. Wait, Alexander sorry, are baby's tears? Baby's is that a tears. flower? They may not be I don't, I don't know what baby's tears are. Is that know. a pun? I don't know. I, maybe it's not a pun. Maybe it's literally just put baby's <laughs> tears in <laughs> just... I don't know. It's Prince Elizabeth's twine. <laughs> It's King Edward's bush. Good day, tomato vines. Good morning. Whoa. Whoa. Let me... Vines of sweet, ripening tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. Generally speaking. <laughs> what? Uh, what's the deal with that end table over there? I don't know. Let me, let's, let's, let's take a look. To the right of the path is a little coffee table. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. just sure, just wow. cause, honey. Oh, our, like it is. our backyard needs a coffee table by the tree. You know, so people can. There's, I mean, there's a chair, and there's a little little man over there on the wall. There's a lot. Is it going Humpty on Dumpty before he was copyright? Like, <laughs> copyright. There appears to be a hole in the garden copyright? wall. Oh, it's a hole. Oh, it's a hole. What? We're gonna walk over. Is it really? Through Ugh. the hole in the wall, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. That oh, hole's not doing really too well. What? The hole in the wall. That's super trippy. Zones. Those wallflowers sure are shy, and the <laughs> snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't Ugh. even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. You should probably save. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Yeah, the, I don't know. I'm gonna save. The doors are made of pizza. 
A curiously speckled gate marks one end of the garden. Furiously speckled? <laughs> you know what? Can, can I take this? Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. Why is it like a sad <laughs> hole? <laughs> it could be a very useful thing. Alexander startled oh, the poor God. thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. Oh, creepy Alexander can't get his hole in the wall. Peeping Alexander. <laughs> okay, what are the what it's are, like a nursery what are the rhyme. blue things? The blue things. What are the blue things? Yeah, I don't know. Is that lettuce growing in the garden? It looks a little chilled. It's Why it must be lettuce. iceberg lettuce? Bum, bum, bum. These aren't really even puns. Wow. It's um. I, it's it's interesting. It's very like uh, Piers Anthony, like it's on that level of pun. It's just like saying things. <laughs> <laughs> just saying stuff. Yeah, it's volume it's, over quantity. Okay, so so um, I, I this now I'm, this is I'm gonna do it. I uh, I've had this like I've been thinking about this all week. The King's Quest games. Uh, had this whole like mythology theming thing. This was this was what they were all about, right? Mm -hmm. They were they were fairy tales. They called back to fairy tales in the same way that like a lot of uh, like the Shrek movies are all callbacks to, oh, to yeah, yeah. fairy tales that you know. And the early ones were like fairy tales that you know. It's it's all uh, Rumpelstiltskin and and like very consistent. It had this like medieval fairy tale like like Western European. Um, fairy tale theme that went through the whole game. Yeah. Um, and now we're on number six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like they've really, they've really started to exhaust their supply of mythology to draw from. And Sean, you know, when we get to seven, we're dealing with uh, the American wet, like old west, like like the American Southwest legends of the. Um, Oh, it's the fucking little rabbit with the with the horns. Um, I don't know. I know oh, exactly. The jackalope, right? Yes. The jackalope. Like, yeah. It's 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 uh, we're dealing with that kind of thing, and um, this this like ooga booga nightmare and um, Christmas nightmare before Christmas, like yeah, not real mythology mythology. That's that that they've appropriated for these games, and this is like one step before that. Like this is Punland. Like we're we're gonna create a whole <laughs> island and we're gonna theme it. Like we right, we hit the Arabian island and we've got the uh, the Greek island that that we're gonna get to. And um, this is just like let's come up with words. Let's just make words. So so what you've you more or less done is you've described where the lore in this game was built as it relates to the collapse of an industry. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And it's, it's honestly, it's one of the reasons that I find uh, Quest for Glory, I said this, I keep coming back to Quest for Glory, but it is a vastly superior uh, uh, series of games. They, oh, really? they, oh. they do like, oh. they, they're really good. Like each game is themed after an area and they're not quite so desperate about like the content that they're trying to pull out of it. Desperate. It's just, um, <laughs> Dude. Okay, well, cuz they're not, it's not a, it's not about like farming that mythology, it's more about appropriating the culture, which is problematic in its own way, but it's it's more like each game is steeped in a different yeah. uh sort of like world, like uh geographical world. Um whereas these like especially by the time we get to 6, it's it's literally islands. Like they literally created different islands to house different like genres of mythology because they didn't have enough to fill a whole game with anything consistent or coherent and even then we get these weird inconsistencies within the islands that things that don't seem to really match so like if... what what what's the relationship between all of these puns every, like the three screens that we've gotten into in these pun in this island are all puns versus the gnomes with the senses, like that's it's not a connected, it's not a coherent lore. 
So, so basically, yeah. if, if they made like a King's Quest Nine today, it would be like an Isle of Cyrus, and the first thing you meet there is a pit bull. <laughs> That's. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> if you listen to Top Forty, it'll. Oh, I, I don't. Miley I don't, Cyrus I don't, and I don't, I don't Pitbull. Culture. Oh, okay. oh, oh, Jesus! Cyrus, oh, like Miley Cyrus. I like it. Oh, oh man, yeah, that was like the it. Miley's and the Cyrus. I know. Look, wrong I have audience. One, My one bad. Thing. Hold on, I know that you're a very you know popular kind of music man. Hold on, one second, one second. Check this out. <laughs> if you play something copyrighted, it's it's gonna delete the video. Wait, hold on. What are you what are you what are you about to do so, if you Sean, play Pitbull? Pitbull. Uh, I saw that someone in the chat had asked what what a uh, jackalope was. Oh, do people not see? That's how oh. far they have to stretch. People don't even know what a jackalope is. That's and you know where you get them. That you have a jackalope, though. You get them at Wall Drug. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I know! <laughs> this is a coincidence, I think. This is a confluence. <laughs> Man. Wonderful. Wonderful. Just needed to bring a little, some feelies into this. I... <laughs> it's really great, the props that you brought, Bill. That's yeah, to help expand the experience. Well, let me let me look at the snapdragons. Let's see what happens here. Let's. A colorful these... array of snapdragons stand guard to one side of the path. Let me talk to them. Good day, snapdragons. <laughs> the snapdragons don't seem inclined to communicate with anyone. They also don't seem to be governed by any sort of uh, Delta Time uh, <laughs> functionality. They're completely CPU bound. <laughs> the amount of clock cycles on Alexander's computer lets the Snapdragons run wild. Greetings, ladies. How charming you look today. The wallflowers are too shy to okay. talk to Alexander. I mean, I really want this... Let me get, go for the hole. The wallflowers, overcome with shyness at Alexander's approach, cluster together and cover the hole in the wall. Alexander can't get it. Let me let me sit in this chair. Alexander would love to sit a spell, but he's a tad busy at the moment. <laughs> oh my god, I just bang! <laughs> like I own the oh place. Boy. I feel like we just accomplished something significant. I don't know. It sounds that way. Well, it looks like we're in chess land, because like you said, there's gnomes with five senses, there is a wolf tree with milkweed milk <laughs> bottles, and then we just encountered the land of old Fisher Price toys. And <laughs> now we're in chess wait, wait, wait. world. Actually, actually, a lot of this is Alice in Wonderland. I don't know that it I'm all sorry. is, but I think a lot of the flowers are actually like Alice in Wonderland trips. Is that, is that just because Alice in Wonderland is like low-hanging fruit as far as <laughs> American mythologies? Yeah. I mean, I'm, yes, I, it's I think... the lowest. <laughs> it's at the bottom. Wait, hold on. We got we're going to we're going to save. All right. Let's let's talk to some horses. A noble white chest knight stands at the top of the marble stairs. Ooh. Excuse me. What land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave! <laughs> I see. And is Chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isles? It is the home of the Red and White Queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isle. <sighs> I hope you got all that. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. There's, there's a feud with the other isles. Uh oh. Are those par parents are the queens. I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the vizier and the princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. Zip. But I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness. I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. Ooh. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. 
I don't get it. Who isn't queen of the I don't get it either. The lump of coal is, is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't Ooh. your stone. Uh, it belonged to the yeah. Isle of Wonder <laughs> Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. <laughs> Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Yeah. Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Quiet, your highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. God. I'm sorry, oh. your majesties. I'm partial to both red and white. But I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. Hey guys, do you not go play a game? You will just have to be <laughs> gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a it's ridiculously stupid yeah. idea! You know, I hear that Quite uh, ludicrous. film and games are really coming together. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh yes, obviously a man of high intelligence. <laughs> Well, oh, let's just take their clothes. That was it. Just leaking. My gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything. Being much too self-conscious, white is the perfect accompaniment to any color. <laughs> the knights are just like. Now you understand our life. <laughs> Alexander picks up the Red Queen scarf. What is the okay. use of a scarf? a scarf? The scarf is made of red silk. Okay. okay. If you uh, if you see a bowl, oh, actually, you might see a bowl. What are you talking about? Oh, because we got red silk. We got a bowl. It's like a red red scarf. But I, now I wait. I don't know that I say that. I think you actually might see a. Bowl. Oh, a bowl! I thought you said a bowl. If you see a bowl, you yeah. can cover it with the scarf. Uh, yeah, right. right. I didn't know what that was referring to. That's so, thing. so what are we? What are we doing here? What is the goal? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> We're so, trying to get to the woman, the the the, the woman that we've decided uh, we oh deserve. God, Bill, you're thinking way too long term. <laughs> too long term. <laughs> A mushy it's, swamp it's lies an just on game. the path. So it doesn't we, look like very good swimming. Wait we need minute. to identify the gating puzzles. Yeah. And a then stick solve is them. stuck in the middle of the swamp. Alexander so, sees no point in trying to talk to that. I'm stick trying to do this swamp. fast, Sean. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I can't handle it. No, 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 that's Alexander good. Can't that's reach good. The stick. Keep, keep doing it. Keep going. The swampy bog sinks beneath Alexander's weight. He feels himself being sucked yeah, slowly go. but firmly down You're into straight, the muck. John. A strange s pulling sucking noise. <laughs> and then it's just gonna show me and see. The water fills <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be mouth. in the water in a minute, bro. He thinks bro. that although he'd always wanted to try a mud bath, Look. this is hardly what he had in mind. Looks like Alexander's all really? mudded really? up. He's all wet. <laughs> Looks like Next. he's lily padding. You never get that no sinking way. feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's marsupial. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, I have an idea, Sean. I got. All I, don't, right. I don't know a lot of this. Like, I can't figure out what the fuck with the bees. Or well, let me uh, let me go to somewhere quieter because I can't hear anything you're saying. Jesus. Yeah, hey, Sean. Hi. Hello. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, we've got iceberg lettuce. Yes. And we've got a boiling lake thing. Oh, that's a good... Really of... artificially contrived, like, boiling water situation. Okay. Yeah, that's a good uh, sort of lateral thinking there. So let me let me go get... Let, let, me, let me just make sure that my teeth hurt by going through this area, and then, okay, there we go. Let me... 
Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. That's one way to get ahead. <laughs> Yay, dads! Is that cold? Yeah! Ow! Ow! I talk to chess pieces and marry women in advance. I'm Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander style. Seriously, if you think Facebook stalking is creepy, play King's Quest VI, where yeah, you help a guy. Stalking. Yeah, Island. So he's like teleporting around on a map, collecting junk, and just <laughs> handing junk to people arbitrarily to marry a girl he hasn't talked to in a long time that he's convinced he saw in a mirror and he told his mom. <laughs> Dude, we should change the name of the show to Mostly Stalking. <laughs> Alexander pulls out his magic map. Uh oh. Yeah, cheers. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Don't we all, though? Okay, so now I, I have a secondary thing. Yeah. On the Isle of the Beast, if we can find a singing stone, whatever the hell that is. A wedding stone? A singing stone. Okay. The, the queens were harping on it. Right? If we they're really? they're feuding. They're, they said they were feud yeah. You two no not doing attention. that cutscene. <laughs> I was so exhausted during that one. Yeah, can anyone write up a Google Doc with a summary of that? <laughs> you can, Just link it. Can you like PowerPoint it and have only images with no text? Because I can't read. I just am exhausted. Yeah. Two things that you need to know. Uh, coal is better than boiled eggs or or spoiled right. eggs or whatever. For, Seems for to some be. reason. Yeah. And there's a feud between all of the islands because uh, the Isle of Beasts stole the Singing Stone from the Red Queen. Uh, what was the island that we were just on? The Isle of the S Wonder. Of Wonder. I think. Yeah. Isle of Wonder. Here okay. it comes. Here it comes. Well, look at my cabbage. Have Save your game. Carrying a full Let's do head of a queer-looking lettuce made of ice. <laughs> Let's go full head really ice lettuce. Some queer looking lettuce. That's, that's a word that we just don't use in 2014. Yeah. Alexander's carrying some gay lettuce. That's An extremely... LGBT lettuce. <laughs> LGBT lettuce. All right, let's 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 toss it in. Iceberg lettuce into the... Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander right. throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. Makes sense. Yes! Makes sense the to me. pond's water slowly stops boiling, Ugh. cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. <laughs> Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Oh no! <laughs> Alexander's pores <laughs> expand, and he Ouch. begins exfoliating. Ouch! Wasn't the it pond like is no longer boiling, before? but it's hardly bath water. Let me try to get this. Oh! Oh, Alexander shit. takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Damn! Yeah. We Damn! Didn't reach out. We're ground. Save. All right, let's just let's just keep going, man. We're so on a roll. Yeah, so let's, let's do it. it. And then we are in our back pocket solution. Is all down down the path. He gets the strange okay. feeling that he's so, been hey, just... Wait. Come on, right off the here. bat. See what I'm doing with these flowers. Never what mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just um. there to scare you. Okay. Okay, that's terrifyingly specific. Uh, and there's, there's like a little gray stone. Jesus. That is clearly not part of. <laughs> this is really loud. Yeah, that's really loud. <sighs> Go on, guys. Okay. Sorry. Little gray stone on the right side of the screen is clearly not part of the painted background. Well, I, yeah. What did you say, Sean? I couldn't. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. What were you saying, Sean? That was so interesting. <laughs> you suck, Sean. I, I got him the worst. I'm sorry. Um, the, um, there's a there's Come an object through, say, to the I right side of the screen that uh, is forest. basically not part of the painted background. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's obviously an interactable object. Oh, you know what that is though? Look, look, look! It's a brick that fell out. Do you see the part where? Ah, it fell out? Like, yeah. That? But it's yeah. it's um. It's, it's interesting color. that it's sort of done in a completely different style. And it's, just, I mean, like, that's yeah. intentional, right? That's that's so yeah. that we know to interact with it. Well, I, um, you know, have you ever noticed that in old Looney Tunes and other animations, too? 
If there's part of like a tree yes! that's gonna break off, it's like yeah. not painted right. Yeah. Same thing. It's, uh, it's on a different cell, right? They yeah, do, like the, they, they paint they, the backgrounds they, and then they the do cell shading or cell, cell fills. Don't be so timid. It looks like a cat-faced man. All right, let me let me he's, turn His it up. eyes are glowing gold, right? Just like the evil. Just like the evil oh. come and swim in the water hole. Okay, let me let's let's do this. Let's, let's oh, the, Sean, I didn't even make the that connection. The the woods runs through a gated wall here. Well done. Two stone statues stand guard on the lintels. Um, <laughs> to the north, the path continues on through a hedge of roses and a dainty gazebo. A dainty gazebo is to a my small uh, garden plot on the other side of the name. wall. Yeah, that's that's the name of my first album, actually. Uh, <laughs> just nonstop saving. A brick lies in the grass. It must have come from the old brick wall. You think? <laughs> it must have grown here spontaneously. Alexander picks That's up terrifying. The this is so loud. Small speckles of sand stand out against the otherwise gray brick. What? So I'm gonna walk in here. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Got you this time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Check my this. God. Oh. Next. That was, that was, that was, that was slightly erroneous. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, it's my God. It's erroneous. For Star. I, he had to say it. I didn't understand it. Can you, can you, if you the throw brick. the brick? Yields? Let's, let's... Jesus! Jesus! That was really close. Sorry. You aren't going to listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. We'll just see. That's odd. Oh. The gardener just disappeared. That'll happen. Throwing the brick at the stone archer might scratch his mouth, but it won't stop the archer's vigilant watch over the path. What about throwing it through the gate? Like, There's the no side. reason to use that object there. No, there totally is. Narrator. <laughs> there, we literally just identified a reason. Is this the empty bottle now? The glass bottle is full of milk. Oh. How strange for a plant to produce not only milk, but a container to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the strangest thing that I've seen in this game, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go, get, I'm gonna go trade some old lamps for new, what do you think? All right, sounds good. We can get our ring back at the same time. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Alexander! Must have been the burrito we ate. All right, let's begin our I'm quest. I'm excited about lamps. Lamps are oh, going to yeah. be good. He's gone! What? <laughs> oh! The one oh, time. Oh my god, He's no. probably in the pawn shop. <laughs> this game sucks! Who made this game? And you know what's weird? The solution is just to wait forever. Well, it might be... It <laughs> Sorry, might I gotta be, take a um, drink. I... Oh yeah, you forgot. It might be, um... Like, we're supposed to understand what the solution to that puzzle is gonna be, but we're not actually supposed to solve it yet. Right. So this is another thing Alexander that old adventure games would do. Sign being on the wall before. I don't? He decides to take a closer look. Wait, really? It's a proclamation. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul Al-Hazred and Princess Kasima. Uh -oh. For reasons of security, the wedding will not be open uh, to the public. Uh, Long live the uh, new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander feels his stomach turn at the thought of the dread event. <laughs> if he doesn't do something soon, Kasima will be another oh man's wife. No. Oh my god, Facebook statuses have changed. <laughs> this is Alexander's a sociopath, isn't he? 
Alexander takes another look at the wedding proclamation. It's a proclamation. It reads, sit. <laughs> Recovered in text! Get another Hello. Oh. I will be right up. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, it's the guy. I need, I, need my, I need my royal thing. I need my royal no. thing. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were going to talk to him. Wait, no, because I need my ring. Oh, you don't have the royal thing. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, we gotta. Oh, Jesus. Get in the pawn shop. Get in the pawn shop. Do it fast, Shadows. Fast. Uh, yeah, hurry. This Your is a dexterity challenge. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Well, get some more then. I fear that is impossible. Without the ferry, I can no longer get imports from the other islands, and we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Wait, do you grow oh, mint I extract or do you grow mint? <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing that operates like in the real world. There's actually a factory that processes it. Yeah. Okay, let me let me hand the pearl to this guy. <laughs> That's the last island. I found this large it's the industrial pearl. island. Might it be valuable <laughs> enough to ransom back my family ring? <laughs> Boom! He whistles like this. Such a perfect pearl. Certainly, you can have your ring back. Hey. Nice. Oh, I'm glad you didn't sell it. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. <laughs> I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. <laughs> I don't make any money. <laughs> this this pawn <laughs> shop is built on nonsense and giving away free mints that are hard to get. All right, let's. He had money. All he could buy is a book. Good day. Oh, fuck. How may I help you? <laughs> Who designed this game? Oh crap! Oh, I'm gonna try Life to take this terrible. book. Life is terrible. Alexander rests his feet for a moment. Alexander picks up and leaps idly through a book called The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Can we talk to this guy? Maybe he knows something about bookworms. Great, or let's something. ask him about it. I don't know. How fair are you, merchant? Pretty I've fair. I've been reading too much love poetry lately. It is rather depressing to an old bachelor like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to find him, like, a wife. <laughs> Let's get on the Black Widow, and then we can Everyone... just rob him. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone in this game has exactly one need. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we can offer him this book. Let me give him a sentence. Complete the sentence. Wait, what did he say? He said... <laughs> That won't complete the sentence. Oh. Won't complete the sentence? What's the sentence? Where are you going? Where are you going? Merchant, would you be interested in this? Sentence? No, thank you. I deal only in books. I don't have any pre-recorded dialogue response for that object. <laughs> You know, I can't believe that guy's gone. Oh. Uh. Wait. Come here. Oh, oh. The girl is too far away to hold a conversation with Alexander. Walk over there, Alexander. Walk in here. Get in here. Talk to her. The girl is too far away to hold a conversation with Alexander. Open the tiny Alexander. door. Open the tiny door. Are you out? Yes. Then yes, stepmother. Right away. Maybe we should throw a brick at her and get her attention. <laughs> Alexander doesn't want to intrude on pro property unless he's been invited. Oh, God. This is... So we need an invitation. Okay. Uh... Sean, if you go to the pawn shop... Yeah? There were, there were things that we could trade the bird for. That's a good Are point. Are any of them useful? Let's hand back that nightingale and see what we're working with. Good day, Prince Alexander. Mm. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, of choose course. something in exchange for the items on the counter. 
Of course. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. If this were Pawn Stars, he'd be like, I can give you 20 bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... What, uh, what's in that bottle? It's, a um, it's a fire starter thing, right? On the counter. Tinder? Oh, Tinder. A used can we light the lamp? Displayed on the counter. Maybe. A plain wooden flute is displayed on the counter. We should get the flute. The, uh, we already music, used it. music soothes the savage beast, right? So yeah, I, I love so. beast. I, 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 like, I don't know where we can use it I'll yet. I'll take the but... flute. Yeah. The flute? At Very some point, Prince I think Alex, we'll, we'll use it. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. <laughs> Thank you. Every this object comes with point. an Irish blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, we what, need... if we, what if we just finger the lamp? Alexander rubs the lamp, but nothing happens. Uh, that was really interesting. Yeah. Shouldn't they just say, and nothing happens? <laughs> Games nowadays just go, boo, boo. Good day again. How may I help you? I'm just leave. I'm just gonna keep leaving. He's just wandering. <laughs> Cause I mean, he was right there. Uh, we could go back to the to the Isle of Greek shit, whatever, and um. Isle of Greek shit. And have, yeah. uh, have the we chat should... help us. Let's see if the chat has come up with anything for the Isle of Greekness. Yeah, let me. Uh... Oh, 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 Alexander plays his flute. The nightingale just looks at him curiously. <laughs> the nightingale asks if Alexander you could probably, is high. Could you give the nightingale something? I don't know, maybe a mint? A you don't have a mint. You used the castle. your last mint. Whoa. Here we go. Hurry up, girls! There's plenty of work afoot today. No time to dawdle. Yes, Sergeant Gruff. Purple, green, blue, red. Purple, green, blue, red. Maybe you need, like, a yellow outfit. It's well that they're here, Wolf. Cook has about driven himself mad, I hear, worrying over the wedding preparations. Huh. I that... won't. What a celebration there will be today. <laughs> Wine will flow like a river of red. I won't. <laughs> Wine will flow like a river of red, he says, while hoisting, like, a weapon. I think that we are gonna need to disguise ourselves as one of those people. So I so, think so, too. Okay, so I think there's a convenient little, like, place to hide while we change. Hiding nook. Yeah, yeah. look at this. Yeah. So there's the hiding nook. Here's where I think a hole in the wall is gonna go. That's we, good. If That's we can good. get it. That's uh. true. Oh, gosh. Ah, the glorious soundtrack by Mannheim Steamroller. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to the bookstore, because he might is, randomly um, be there. He might randomly be there? I don't think so. I don't think it's chance. I think it's, uh, it's literally, like, what object Good you have in your again. possession determine whether or not he's there. Yeah, I think it's a state machine, really. Yeah. Because that's the thing, like, uh, adventure games tended to work like that. That, uh... Oh, what's going on here? That, um, you yeah. know, they'd be very deterministic in terms of that kind of, uh, state. Yeah, you can imagine the save file is just a bunch of zeros and ones, each pertaining to an object. Right, right. You know, Which is actually, I mean, that's not far off from where the way a lot of... Modern games work. I remember yeah. um, we saw a presentation. I don't know if you were there. I don't know if you guys were there for um, somebody who did dialogue on um, Bioware games for yeah. like Knights of the Old Republic. Talked about their dialogue system. Very similar. It's just a state machine. Yeah. It's just you have more engineers and it breaks. <laughs> Alex <laughs> and more subtle ways. Magic map. Yep. Yep. Oh, map. Cheers. Matt, Matt. Let's go to the aisle. Of the Opa. sacred mountain. Alexander feels a and strange we're take pulling sensation. A break, and we're going to. So here's what's going to happen. In the break, we're going to ask chat, uh, you know, sort of how things work here. See if they can give us any advice, and please only use advice from the manual. Don't use advice from, for instance, a walkthrough because we cannot cheat. 
cannot. Yeah, cheat. cheating's lame, and winners don't use drugs. <laughs> right, thank you. Sure. Bill, this message from the uh, from the FDA. Actually. FDA, the Dare Association. Dare, that's what it was. I just picked any organization. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the FDA. That was from DARPA. Yeah. Thank ATF you, Bill. says DARPA. Yeah. It was the ATM wants us not to worry about that. That was from Her, Her Majesty's Royal Carpet. <laughs> so, we're going to throw out a save real fast here. Yeah. Uh, want to. Now, you know, I asked, I asked Sean sort of recap last segment. Bill, give us a rundown of what you think has been going on and where you think we're going. Uh, comings and goings. Um, well, the map... Uh, it's really made the world a smaller place for us. Every time we teleport, though, we can only go to one part of the of the beach. And uh, I think that so far what we've done is... So we sailed a ship, mm -hmm. we dashed it upon the rocks, as you can only do on the rocks, and then we found ourselves having to travel through a variety of islands. We're really only trying to get into a particular room, which is a castle. We have a teleportation map, but we still can't get into the room. Um, so somehow I think we need to create a costume. In order to do that, somehow we're going to have to deal with some bees and uh, some etchings on the walls and uh, something about Chessland. I'm still not sure why we have to help Chessland people because they seem yeah. totally disconnected. Yeah, I mean, I find this, I find this to be very much so, like relationships were for me in college i don't know if this was the same for you <laughs> i don't know because for me at age 28 like let me let me guys you know i know i know both of you might not have this much game but let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you the way to get a woman as a man oh boy okay so here, here it is go. here it comes okay so what you okay. do is you go up to her Yes. And you say hi, and you talk to her like a normal fucking person, okay? Like, that was... <laughs> but that was too hard for me at age 21, or whatever I was, right? At age 28, yeah. I, I understand now that just because you have fear in your heart doesn't mean that people aren't people anymore. But back then, back then, no, you had to figure out the coffee shop that you saw it, that she went to after some class that her friend told you about. Yeah. And when you know that she had to write an essay, you were trying to show up there... And just happened to have the chocolate she liked. You know, it was, like, hard. So are you saying that the, the whole point of quests is because you're actually trying to find a roundabout way to kill time because you can't actually get yourself to just do what you want? <laughs> That's, well, I thought that it was really lock and key. But, you see, in modern games where, you know, you could, for instance, you could have the ink to pour on yourself to become invisible having showed the correct sequences of, you know, senses... Uh, that this way it works in, in in the old school, but in the new school, the instant you are wrong on a sense, you pull out a gun and just blast the gnomes down and just keep going. There's a combat yeah. mechanic to solve if you That's don't true. have if you don't have the brains. Well, then shoot it. Oh my god! Can I can I present an alternate scenario in which the girl that you're trying to woo is uh, your she's your um your partner in the game, your AI partner throughout the from the very beginning, and she throws you health packs. That's ooh, that's a little cruel, isn't it? Wait, did, <laughs> I don't did know. You, I don't did really you, play games. Little, it seems like a little specific, maybe. Bill. Yeah. Did you did you beat Bioshock Infinite? <laughs> I didn't play Bioshock Infinite, dude. I uh, oh wow, I don't that's... play a lot of games anymore. You should frankly. play. You should actually play The Last of Us. That game is delightful. Oh, oh is God! I have to hold my tongue. All right. Well, we're going to come back and see what's on Bill's tongue when we come back. Possibly bashing of mostly walk, or, uh, excuse me, The Last of Us. And they're muted. We'll be back in just a sec. See you soon with more Mostly Walking.